Welcome back everybody to another Python Pandas tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over three different ways that you can add or append rows to your data frames. For our first example we're going to use append. So here we have data frame 1 and we want to add the rows of data frame 2 to data frame 1. Let's go ahead and create our variable data frame append. Now let's use data frame one dot append and what do we want to append? The rows from data frame two. In this case, let's go ahead and ignore the index. Now let's go ahead and use a print to display the output from the data frame append. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can see here we have the rows of data frame one. And then here we have appended the rows of data frame two. Now notice that the index for the rows starts at zero and goes to nine. If you did not want it to show that way for some reason, then you could take out ignore index or set it to false. So let's go ahead and try that. And you can see we have the indexes 0 through 4 for data frame 1 and 0 through 4 for data frame 2. Let's go ahead and add that back. Another way you can add rows is by using concat. Let's create the variable data frame concat. We're going to use pandas.concat, then inside the round brackets, and inside square brackets, let's put data frame one and data frame two. And in this case, let's go ahead and ignore the index. Let's use a print to display data frame concat. Let's run it. And you can see we get the same output here as we did using the append. So in these two cases, since you get basically the same output, it's really just personal preference on how you would like to append those rows. Let's go over one more example. In this case, we're going to use loc. So let's go ahead and create data frame three. And let's just make that a copy of data frame one. Now, let's use data frame three dot loc. And for this example, we're just going to add one row. So in square brackets, we put five. So that should put it right here. Then we can assign our values. And let's just put in 10, 20, 30. Let's go ahead and display the new contents of data frame three. Let's run it, and you can see we have added row 5 here. Okay, that's all we have for this Python Pandas tutorial. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.